So, this is going to be an interesting video. You may notice that this is a rather janky setup. This is completely unscripted, off the cuff. I didn't really have much time to write up a script or anything because something interesting happened, my friends, and I would like to show it to you. So, do you remember that a few years ago I made a video about East Sheen? East Sheen being a company that made various cubes, 2x2s, 4x4s, and 5x5s. And they were, I mean, they were alright, uh, certainly for the time, which was way back in the early 2000s. And they were really the first properly decent competitors to Rubik's. And also, don't forget, of course, Mephits and other companies like that. However, as time went on, they sort of became less and less popular for various reasons. Uh, one of them being they can barely corner cut at all, not having any springs or anything. Um, and they were generally eclipsed by other manufacturers such as Dion and eventually insert other manufacturers here. This is very impromptu and I can't think of any actual manufacturers at the moment. Go me! Um, so anyway, one thing that you may have noticed is that they never actually made a 3x3. That's a big thing that East Sheen was sort of, like, kind of known for? Sort of-ish? Maybe that was just me. But they never once made a 3x3 cube. Uh, you just couldn't get an East Sheen 3x3. They made 2x2s, 4x4s, 5x5s, and weird little keychain 2x2s often multiple ones. And that was it. You couldn't get a 3x3 East Sheen. Yes, you can. Uh, so, <laughs> um, this has actually been around for a couple of years now. Um, and I just got mine today. I was only just able to get this. This came from HK Now Store. Thank you, Calvin. And I'm really interested to see what's inside it. This is like, I guess this is a, an unboxing review sort of video thing. Um, I've never really done anything like this before, but to be fair, this is a new puzzle from a manufacturer that hasn't made anything new in bloody ages. So let's bang, there goes the battery pack for my camera. Anyway, let's get on with it, I suppose. Can you tell that this is not a professional video? Let's just rip it open and see what's inside. Dun, 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 dun. And here we go. So you may notice that it has a rather interesting sticker pattern. Also, I'm just noticing that it has a rather interesting color scheme, but we'll get to that later. Um, the reason for the sticker pattern is that apparently you can get standard 3x3 uh, East Sheen cubes with standard stickering, but for some reason all that they had was these bizarre wall things, and these were the only ones that were actually listed on the new HK Now Store, not HK Now Store, East Sheen website. So that's a bit of an interesting touch. Um, we'll just open it and see what lurks within. I'm not expecting too much. So here it is. Um, this is something I never thought I'd get to hold. Um, I'm noticing right away white opposite blue, green opposite yellow, and pink because East Sheen opposite red. I mean, it kind of looks red. Maybe more orange? No, I'm going to say red. Um, this is a Japanese color scheme, which is somewhat interesting. They obviously, this is really only still used in Japan nowadays. It was the go-to color scheme for the 80s and 90s, but by around 1997, I want to say, the Rubik's company changed the color scheme to the standard one that we see today. Replace that with orange. Um, so it's interesting that we're using the Japanese color scheme here. I don't know if that's universal across these, I'm not sure how I would check. Let's see how it turns. This is 
weird. This is like a bloody review video for East Gen Cubes. Okay, so as expected for an East Gen Cube, it is really very smooth. However, you may have noticed it does not corner cut very well, and I do not think there are any springs in this cube whatsoever. Which doesn't really surprise me. That does seem to be East Gene's thing. Um, so that's interesting that because you would expect after so many years that they would finally make something with springs, but no, they still haven't. Um, I'll tell you what, I want to see what's inside this thing. Can we? Oh, yep. Ah, this is just a very, very standard and old mechanism. Look at that. I don't know how well that'll pop up on camera. Ah, there we go. You can see that it's just the standard old Rubik's mechanism, and inside is a standard core. Oh, can you check off the center caps? I believe you may be able to. Ha ha! And yeah, you could. I was going to say tension it, but um, no springs. That'd be kind of pointless. How did that go back on? See, this is the problem with these kinds of cubes. They're a bit ambiguous. I'm just gonna do it like that, and if anyone thinks it was otherwise, you're wrong. Um, so I'll put that back in and drop the pieces. So there you go. East Sheen has made a 3x3. Three three. Um, what I find kind of interesting is that you would think that the main reason why they never made a 3x3 three three before is because of patent issues or something, but for one thing, this is the exact same mechanism as the standard Rubik's 3x3. And also, the patent had expired, I believe, by this point, and it was just trademarks. It's possible that they may only have started making the 3x3 after the whole trademark, the recent trademark sort of thing was lifted. I can't actually remember what happened with that. I'll put a little thing uh, there to basically say if the trademark was revoked or not by the Rubik's company. But, yeah, it's kind of interesting that now we finally have an East Sheen 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, and 5x5 after however many bloody years. Um, also, interesting that they decided to do this wall scheme. Um, so... This has actually been a thing for a couple years now. I'm not the first to make a video about the 3x3. Uh, other people have before. I'll put links to them in the down there. But I haven't been able to get one until just now. So, yeah, I mean, it's... I suppose it's interesting that after having sort of, you know, at the time, revolutionary uh, mechanisms to the 2x2, 4x4, and 5x5, they'll just use a standard 3x3 mechanism from the 1970s. Anyway, um, this was a very unplanned video, as you can probably tell by the mess and everything and the rambly nature of it. I just wanted to get this out there, and yeah, so... Yeah. Um, Worlds 2013 will be coming in the future, probably. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching this bizarre little oddity, and, um, I guess I'll see you next time. Insert YouTuber cliches here. Ugh, I don't know how to make YouTube videos. Ugh.